We have a historic album given to us by the Lord Mayor of York in 1923. On this gown, I read, this gown is made of oak from the Minster of York, England, and is presented to the Rotary Club of New York with greetings from the Rotary Club York Alderman English, Lord Mayor of York, September 1923. Barbaros, in presenting you this historic hour, I have now the privilege and the distinct honor to serve under you as president of our pioneer club number six, the club that gave the constitution to Rotary International. God speak Barbaros. <laughs> Thank you, past President Georgia. <laughs> I knew something was up when I saw his face today. He's so happy. Like, what did they <laughs> pull me into? But uh, thank you very much for leaving a wonderful club and trusting me to be the president of it. I also would like to add, um, welcome one of my uh, late coming guests, Council General of Turkey. Thank you for joining us. Um, and I, I was told by my wife that I have to keep it short and sweet. Clearly she thinks I talk too much. And I was thinking I would do my remarks off the cuff, but then I realized that I have three amazing public speakers. Forget about the past president in this club. Just at my table, we have the Consul General of Turkey, my mentor Larry Kay, and naturally my wonderful public speaker wife, uh, Parisa. So, uh, well, I'll just share with you in two minutes what uh, Rotary means to me since uh, Helen uh, graciously uh, went over my background that I joined the Rotary Club in 1992 when I was in Turkey. But then I, when I moved to New York to study at the NYU Law School, with my father's persuasion, I, he said, you should just go visit the New York Rotary Club. And I was 23 years old, and I fell in love with the membership. And, uh, and I decided to join, and I've been a member since 1995. I have met amazing people over the years, amazing members, and whenever I travel overseas, which I do a lot, I make a point to visit other international clubs, and I make many friends like that, and it's, our fellowship continues. So I think Rotary Club and the international aspect is one of the most important effects on me and my membership at the New York Rotary Club. Um, my sponsors were at that time Saul Anton and uh, Lou DiPaolo, together with Silvia Amori, who's here today. So thank you very much for your confidence that thinking that I would be able to, you know, continue your tradition and be a good member. Um, so in terms of this year, what I see, what I'd like to do, together with my board, together with the foundation, um, is naturally every president says, you know, we want to have new and younger members, which is great. But also I'd like to reach out to our old members who were coming to our club regularly and find out what the reasons are there for them not to continue with our club. If, if there is anything we can do as a board, I, I find that it's important to preserve our membership and the membership retention is the key. So that's part of the task that I, I'd like to undertake together with the help of my board and Andreas, that is naturally the backbone of this club, as you all know. Um, one of the things that we will discuss is maybe Monday is, is not the best day for everyone who has a heavy workload in New York and maybe move it to a much more um, member-friendly day like a Thursday or Wednesday. We have to also talk to Larry Parks in terms of the skit speaker schedules and see if that would affect anything. But that's basically one of the things that I'd like to look into. And um, and I have to thank Georgia to, to leave the club in such a good condition that it's more pressure on me now. I have to basically match what he did in terms of the membership numbers and our budget, which we just had a meeting before this meeting to go over our numbers. So everything looks good and um, I'll do my best and we're here to serve you. If there is anything that you don't like or you want to give a positive feedback, naturally, please do that too. 
uh, you know how to reach me. And as I said, I'm proud to be a New York Rotarian, and I'm definitely proud to be the first Turkish-American president of the New York Rotary Club. Yeah. So,